Hello everyone, my name is Soshita Jaisinghya and I will be presenting the work done on our final year project for the undergraduate project session in the University Research Week. Our project is Road Sign, Traffic Light and Static Object Detection for Self-Driving. This project was done with my colleagues Sahan Hemachandra, Damit Tanghetigama and Shanali Kariyasam under the supervision of Dr. Peshala Jaisekara. Our project scope includes three main tasks, traffic sign and traffic light detection, lane detection, and road marking detection. Our scope also includes optimization of our detection algorithms to suit resource constrained environments, the real time implementation on an embedded system, demonstrating our work in urban and long distance driving, creation of benchmark data sets, and publication in a well known forum. Our project architecture is as shown in the diagram. First, a dash camera is used to take street view video footage. Then the frames containing traffic signs, traffic lights, and road markings are extracted from the video. The images are then annotated using image annotation tools and two benchmark datasets, one for traffic signs and traffic lights, and another for road markings are created. These datasets are then being used to train two different convolutional neural networks for the detection task of traffic signs and traffic lights, and then the road markings. We use the publicly available QLane dataset and train a separate convolutional neural network for the lane detection task. For the real-time implementation, our initial plan was to use a camera mounted onto a vehicle to capture the street views. This video is fed to the three, three trained models which are integrated through the robot operating system deployed on an embedded system. The detection results are then demonstrated in real-time and published through ROS. However, since we did not receive the cameras on time due to import restrictions for COVID-19, pre-recorded videos are used for inference purposes. First, the creation of benchmark datasets for the Sri Lankan context. The map shows the routes we were able to cover through footage correction. This process was limited due to the travel restrictions imposed due to COVID-19. Since we are creating two datasets, for the road markings, the images extracted from videos were annotated using the LabelMe image annotation tool to obtain polygon annotations in JSON format. We also provide bounding box annotations in XML format and segmentation mask in PNG format. For traffic signs and traffic lights, we use the label image annotation tool to obtain bounding box annotations in XML format. Then a summary of the created datasets. First, the road markings dataset, which we completed with a total of 2114 images. The table shows the number of instances, while the graph shows the distribution of the number of instances for each of the 11 classes. Next, the Sri Lankan traffic signs and traffic lights dataset. It, it contains a total of 7984 images with 70 traffic sign classes and 5 traffic light classes. The table shows the number of instances for the 8 super classes. The graph shows the distribution of the number of instances across all classes. Moving on to traffic sign and traffic light detection. This slide shows how a traffic sign and traffic light detection model architecture. First, a state-of-the-art object detector is used to detect the traffic signs and traffic lights as bounding boxes under their superclasses. We evaluate the performance of SSD and fast RCNN as the object detector using TensorFlow. Next, a ResNet 18 classifier trained using PyTorch is used to classify the detections to the traffic sign and traffic light classes. The class-wise and overall results obtained are presented in this table. The SSD model with an input resolution of 500 achieves a F1 score 92.41 and is used in the web station. For the embedded system, we use the SSD model with an input resolution of 300 and F1 score 18. 89.51 considering the real time requirement. Some of the qualitative results obtained for the traffic sign and traffic light detection tasks are shown in this slide, including rural, urban, expressway, shadow, dazzle light, and occlusion conditions, as well as undetected signs and false detections. Next, with respect to lane detection, we follow the row wise classification approach in which the goal is to identify the lane locations as gridding cells in each row anchor. We propose a novel lightweight lane detection model and two post processing techniques, a false positive suppression algorithm and a curve fitting algorithm as shown in the diagram. The model is trained and implemented using PyTorch. 
The results from the QLAN benchmark dataset are compared with state-of-the-art LAN detectors in this table. Our formulation surpasses state-of-the-art in terms of speed and efficiency, reaching up to 411 FPS while achieving a comparable F1 score of 74%. Some of the qualitative results obtained using our method are shown in this slide. On the left hand side, you can see the inference results for the Sri Lankan context, and on the right hand side, you can see the inference results for the nine categories in the QDN dataset. Moving on to road marking detection, this slide shows our road marking detection model architecture. First, the inverse perspective transform is used to obtain, a, obtain the bird's eye view of the road in which the road markings become more visible. Then, a state of the art object detector is used to detect the road markings as bounding boxes. Finally, the inverse of the IPT matrix is used to convert these detections to four-sided polygons in the original image. We evaluate two SSD models and one fast RCNN model as the object detector using TensorFlow. Although fast RCNN being a two-stage object detector has a higher F1 score of 93.46%, we use SSD MobileNet V2 model with the F1 score of 87.29 and speed of 144 fps due to the real time requirement some of the qualitative results obtained for the road marking detection task are shown in this slide normal expressway tone of signs shadow occlusion and dashed light conditions as well as undetected signs and false detection have been included all of the above models were trained in our workstation with the gpu and had to be optimized for the embedded system for real time inference we use Tensart optimization with floating point 16 quantization in which the train models are converted to UFF or ONNX formats as intermediate files and then Tensart engines are generated. As you can see in this table, the inference speeds of the three detection models can be increased significantly using Tensart optimization with a slight reduction in accuracy. The final part was to integrate everything together with ROS. This diagram shows the architecture of our ROS package static object detector. The image feeder node reads a video file and publishes frames to the input image topic at 30 frames per second. The three detection models run parallelly and publish lane detections, road marking detections, traffic sign detections, and traffic light detections to the relevant topics. The visualizer node marks all these detections and publishes the resultant image to the output image topic. Then the RVS visualization tool can be used to visualize the detections in real time. The static object detector system can be launched using a single ROS launch file and can be configured as needed. This, this slide shows the overall system performance for both the workstation and the embedded system. The top table represents the inference speeds when the detection models are executed separately and the bottom table represents the FPS values when the models are executed together. As you can see, all models are capable of performing in real time. Before concluding our presentation, let me show a small video demonstrating our work. A final note on publications, we have written two papers on lane detection and road marking detection. Our paper on lane detection has been accepted to IEEE ICMLA 2021 and our paper on road marking detection has been accepted to WACV 2022. That brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much.